London, AP. It was nearly a comeback for the ages for Coventry. Instead, it ended in another gut-wrenching penalty shootout loss at Wembley for the second-tier team as Manchester United limped into another FA Cup final. Coventry pulled off one of the most unexpected fightbacks in FA Cup history by rallying from three goals down against United to force extra time after a 3-3 draw in Sunday's semi-final game, only to falter at the end and let Eric Ten Hag's team escape with a 4-2 win in the shootout. It hurts a lot. Especially coming back from 3-0 down and having the potential to win in extra time, Coventry striker Ellis Sims said. To lose on penalties is gutting. We were unlucky but it just wasn't our day to get it. Rasmus Hoyland scored the decisive penalty kick to save United from another embarrassing collapse after Callum O'Hare and Ben Sheaf had missed their spot kicks for Coventry. It was an incredible game, a strange game too, Ten Hag said. We had total control for so long and then gave it away in the last part of the game. It was another heartbreaking ending at Wembley for Coventry, which also lost on penalties to Luton in last year's championship playoff final to miss out on promotion to the Premier League. United's narrow escape sets up a second straight Manchester Derby in the final against defending champion Manchester City, which beat Chelsea on Saturday. But it should never have been this close. United looked to be cruising toward the final after Bruno Fernandes' deflected shot put them 3-0 up in the 58th minute against a championship side that had defied the odds just to make the semi-finals. But Coventry is no stranger to comebacks, having scored twice in injury time to beat Wolverhampton in the quarter-finals, and staged an even greater one this time to set off wild celebrations in the sky-blue half of Wembley. Sims gave Coventry a glimmer of hope by sweeping home a cross from Fabio Tavares in the 71st. O'Hare netted the second with the help of a lucky deflection in the 79th and Haji Wright equalized from the penalty spot in the fifth minute of injury time after a handball by Aaron Juan Basaka. United had taken the lead in the 23rd through Scott McTominay and Harry Maguire then headed in the second from a corner. That lead soon looked insurmountable after Fernandez's shot took a deflection to sneak inside the near post for United's third. But no lead seems safe for this United side. This was a second late collapse in a matter of weeks after United gave up two injury time goals in a 4-3 Premier League loss to Chelsea this month, when Ten Hag called on his team to learn how to close out games. They showed no signs of having learned that lesson, and Coventry came the closest to netting the winner in extra time against a shell-shocked United.